But that's not what I said. One drop of honey makes learning sweet. Add one drop of honey to Talmud Torah. And you've got a team that can be beat. All stars with the children. Open minds and smiling faces. So we teach them. Here's the conversation. Moses. So, God. Any new rules today? God says, You shall not cook a kid in its mother's milk. Moses replies, Oh, we can't eat meat and milk together? God says, No, that's not what I said. What I said is, You shall not cook a kid in its mother's milk. Moses replies, Oh, right. Separate dishes. Set for meat, set for dairy. Gotcha. No, that's not what I said, Moses. What I said is, You shall not cook a kid in its mother's milk. Uh, okay, so we'll wait six hours between meat and milk, but we'll only have to wait about an hour between milk and meat. That is not, you know what, Moses, just do whatever you want. I wonder if that's what the conversation sounded like. So many conversations sound just that way. One person says one thing, another person hears something completely different. I think we've seen a little bit of that this past week. President Obama gave his big Middle East speech, talked about what should happen between the Palestinians and the Israelis? Benjamin Netanyahu gave his big speech in Congress, spoke about what should happen between the Israelis and the Palestinians. And frankly, both of them have been misquoted everywhere. People are not listening to the words that are coming out of our leaders' mouths. You don't have to agree with President Obama. In fact, you can hate his plan. I'm okay with that. We can hate everything about the two-state solution. I'm not sure I even agree with that. You don't have to agree with Bibi Netanyahu. You can say that the refugees have to come back or that not even discussing Jerusalem is a non-starter. You don't have to agree with him. But let's at least quote them properly. Let's not attack President Obama for things that he didn't say or things that we're suggesting that he's saying for the first time and that have never been said before. Read the words of the speeches. You shall not cook a kid in its mother's milk does not necessarily mean wait six hours after eating meat. That may be a good rule to have. And that may be, in fact, a very important part of what it means to keep kosher. But that's not what God said. And so much of what has been going around the media and has been spoken about, about what Obama said and what uh, Netanyahu said, has not been what they said. Please, friends, let's read these words. Let's try to the best of our ability to leave some of our baggage behind and not let it influence what we're hearing. Because what these leaders have to say is important. It's, it's pivotal in how we think about what might actually bring peace to the Middle East. Again, I don't know what the answer is. And frankly, I'm not sure that Obama or Netanyahu know either. But what I do know is that both of them have been misrepresented in the media and by the blogs. They deserve to be heard. And we deserve to listen carefully to what they're saying. You know, we have a prayer that we say every morning. Right after the Baruch we say, Baruch HaTashem, Elokeinu Mechalam, Praised are you, Adonai God, Ruler of the Universe, Yotzer Or Uvarei Choshech, who creates light, Uvarei Choshech, and creates darkness, who forms light, rather, and creates darkness, Ose Shalom, who creates, who makes peace, Uvarei Takol, and who creates everything. But that's not what the actual quote is. Because that quote, the latter half of that bracha, is actually from the book of Isaiah, the book of Yeshayahu, the book of Yeshayahu. And in chapter 45, verse 7, it says, Yotzer or uvere choshech, that God forms light and creates darkness, ose shalom, makes peace, uvore ra, and creates evil. That's not what our prayer book says. But that is what the Tanakh says. That is what God said originally through the mouth of Yeshayahu. But our rabbis, when they were crafting our Siddur, they heard something different. And that's okay as long as we acknowledge that sometimes what we hear is not always what's said. We can stand on our principles. We can stand against or for a two-state solution. But those are our principles. Let's not impose them on others without hearing 
what they have to say in their own words. Until next time, Lehitraot.